hey everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title i was i did the jumbo jungle braids just to see how it's going to look like initially i did the small which i already made a video of and now i did the jumbo just so i can see how it looks like in case my clients start asking for them also i wanted to see if there was like a difference between the butterfly and the jungle braids because they kind of look alike when you do them big big when you do like the jumbo size but i wanted to just see how it looks like just so that when my clients ask for them i'll just send them the picture and just show them how it actually looks like with the um the jumbo um the jumbo jungle braids and i did them in color 30 color 27 and also color 1b which is like the famous colors that people normally get so just so again i can see how it looks like with different colors just in case clients end up asking for recommendations and stuff like that i do really really like them in color 27 i actually love them in color 27 and i also love them in color 1b but you know people have their preference when it comes to color and stuff like that and let me know guys does this look like butterfly um braids when i did like the jumbo kind because to me it does look like it but like the i earned one but i don't know just let me know what you guys think so first i'm going to start braiding the way i braid like my traditional braids and also um so with this style since you're taking out as you're braiding it's very very hard if you don't know how to turk in your clients hair just because if you actually want to start pulling from the top you want to make sure that the dark hair is under the braiding hair and you can do that by applying edge control on your client's natural hair which in this case is going to be my mannequin natural hair basically and I'm just going to show you how to go about that. So the first few braids, like as long as you you keep braiding your client's hair with the braiding hair, it's just hard to take out. As soon as you're done past that, you'll be just fine. So you can go ahead and apply your edge control. I did not for a mannequin because I didn't want to waste the edge control. And also it's just a mannequin and I know how to tuck it in without actually, you know, applying edge control but edge control does make it easier for you to tuck in any style basically so now i'm just braiding and again try to have your braids under your braiding hair all the time or just try to like tweet like whining like you see me i'm just taking it under and then i'm going to braid stuff like that so and then I'm going to end up just pinching the braiding hair because you don't want to pinch too much or too deep because when you do that, you might end up pinching in your client's natural hair. But you don't want the natural hair to be, you know, to be the, to be what you're trying to take out. You only want to take out the braiding hair because that's the whole point. Just so your client's hair, the hair color is not like everywhere. And also you still want your client's hair to be protected no matter what hairstyle you're trying to do, which is the reason why you have to braid um try to tuck it in the natural hair very very well and then when you're pinching it try to pinch very very lightly just so you don't end up pinching the, the natural hair along with it in that way the colors are not like everywhere i mean if you're doing like color one but you might get away with it and stuff like that or like if you're doing like the same if your natural hair is the same color as the braiding hair you might get away with that but if you're really 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 trying to protect your hair you want to just do the turkey method because in that case you don't have any natural hair sticking out or anything like that so now i believe i'm almost past the, the mannequin natural hair so now i'm gonna like braid it's gonna be so so easy to braid because now i don't have to worry about me trying to pitch in and me trying to be very careful i'm just gonna keep braiding and do my thing and when i was done you can also dip this in the hot water i never really dip everything i just dip the end basically i just dip the end basically and i just added mousse to my and i in the future when i have clients for this size, I would just add mousse just to make everything silky and smooth. Maybe I would try dipping my mannequin here in hot water. And I'll probably just show you guys how what it's looking like uh, with before and after the hot water. Just to see if it's safe for you to dip them in hot water. For some reason, never really occurred to me. But I have a client coming in soon. So I really cannot do that right now. But hopefully sometime tomorrow or next, I will be showing you guys what it looked like when I dipped them in hot water. But when I did like the blue, the extra small jungle breaks for my clients the color blue i only dipped the ends in hot water and it was still very very soft and flexible so i don't know so maybe i will try i will try dipping my mannequin on in hot water and see what it looks like and maybe i might end up doing that 
or maybe not just depends on you know what happened and how the result comes up well hopefully this video was helpful to somebody and if you have any questions feel free to ask me but to then i'll be seeing you guys in my next video and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much
Baba. They know my story. For more 